building materials again it is it is uh, very easy to understand we don't want any voc emitting material we don't want any smell in the material we want uh, very simple to clean material which which is easy to maintain so non glossy non porous low voc emitting paints is preferred fancy color paint wallpaper type of material should be avoided because wallpaper is an big source for um, in future giving the contamination or infection in the lab vitrified tiles of bigger size nowadays we have even 2 by 2 or even 6 by 6 size tiles also there so it has less joints so when you put these tiles even on the wall or uh, on the surface so there will be less joints so there will be less uh, possibility of uh, anything get contam contamination deposited in the crevices flooring should be non slippery non porous vinyl flooring is preferred now if we come to instrumentation it's a state of art laboratory setup it must have all necessary equipments the equipment list is long but the minimum requirement is as i said art procedure is iui ibf and icsi and then pgd and uh, so pro perinatal genetic diagnosis laser assisted hatching and all so an ideal setup should have all this facility because you know this is google area a uh, google uh, era where people when a patient comes to you is well aware of and he 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 has already gone through all the procedure so he or she will come and straight to ask you are you offering this service so you you should be able to offer all kind of services so all kind of instruments is uh, preferable then the another important part is servicing of these instruments annual maintenance contracts supplies response of vendor should be considered comparative analysis should be done carefully with the different aspects during selection of instrument so as we all know there are variety of instruments same instrument from different company so you have to see the after sales services how, what kind of services they are providing how fast they are uh, responding to your calls they can be preferred and uh, the choice of instrument selection should be as per the director or the lab in charge so because ultimately he is the end user he is supposed to he or she is supposed to use those instruments they should have provision for upgradation you should choose always a instrument which always can be upgraded because see you never know that in another two years something new is going to come up and when it comes again you are held up because you already have a system but you you cannot go for a new system so upgradation should be there upgradation scope stock should be properly trained on handling and maintaining of instruments you know the major thing comes here because you have world class instrument but the handling is not proper again it is going to give you a trouble periodic check up of working and performance of laboratory instrument is preferred for consistent result see ultimately you must have by this time now uh, knowing this that why we are talking about all these things is just because we want to maintain the quality control in the lab which ultimately results in the success rate outcome because if you give success then only the patients are going to come and uh, your center will survive if success is not there if the results are not coming then then bad mouth publicity is there and the patient load will be reduced spare parts availability also to be ensured uh maintenance we already discussed we should have periodic checkups and uh, we should maintain the log book data in the lab so we come to know periodic analysis if you do we come to know the loopholes and we can keep on rectifying it instruments for measuring the different level of voc or the co2 concentration or gas concentration so calibrated measuring instruments is also an uh, added advantage if you have it in the lab lab area convenience lab area is main area which is with restricted entry so it it is occupied with the lab persons ample space should remain free for their movement now you you just imagine if you are working in a say 5 by 5 or 6 by 6 lab 
So you see, you are handling human gametes. You, oocyte is there in hand, and there are two people minimum as per guideline should be there working. So there is always a chance of collision and the gametes can fall down and uh, you cannot uh, just uh, reimburse in form of cost because it is very valuable stuff. so the the convenience lab area should be that much that two people can easily move around and uh, there is less chances of collision ample space anti-vibration tables sturdy stainless steel bench tops with wheels so that lab cleaning is easy so the instruments um, like our XC machine, intracytoplasmic sperm injection machine. So this machine uh, should be placed on totally vibration-free platform because it you you imagine the procedure the the needle by which we inject sperm inside that oocyte it is hundred times smaller than our single hair. So even a slight disturbance creates vibration and that needle is supposed to go inside the egg. So if vibrations are there, it will cause damage. So anti-vibration tables are required for that or stainless steel table, which is easy to clean and with a movable uh, um, uh, wheels uh, in the table will be helpful because when you want to clean the surface, lamina, uh, the floor of the lab, you can just move it, clean it and again put it at the original location. And then location of manipulator, incubator, laminar air flow AC vent that also needs to be seen. Now we come to staff, a well-equipped laboratory setup required in lab director. You see the main person looking after the entire setup, particularly the lab. Then under him, an embryologist who is taking care of gametes. Then technician who is taking care of the disposable and getting stuff ready for the procedure. Nursing staff taking care of patients, putting um, uh, giving instruction to the patient, to, uh, give her injections and all. OT staff, consultant, assistant, consultant, and counselor. These are the important staff which is required in an ART setup. And one has to understand that ART setup is basically a teamwork. See, if I say that I am an embryologist and I do my work, very perfectly and I create a very good embryology, uh, good embryos and uh, they are ideal and all, it's not going to work. Because very good embryos are formed, but the transfer of those embryos is not done properly, then again, the success will not be there. So it's a teamwork. Every person involved in your setup is equally important. That is what I feel. And you should be always communicating about their you know, understanding, their problem, Upgradation training should be a continuous process so that they should also know that what 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 they are handling or in what what uh, they are part of the system. Everyone should know their job responsibilities and in case of non-performance, appropriate actions can be taken. So the the most important part comes here is that if a staff nurse staff nurse should be well versed about her responsibility in the setup. So if she is well known to it, she will perform her duties accordingly. If you ask one person to perform multiple duties, then the problem comes. Qualified staff, they should understand importance of sterility, quality, behavior, personal hygiene in air to lab setup, as we are very much concerned about infection, any kind of infection in lab setup. Periodic upgrade on latest developments is advisable we should keep on upgrading ourselves. SOP, standard operating procedure, I, I think this is the most important part. If you have a standard document in place, so irrespective of X, Y, or Z working, they have to follow that document so the process will be going smoothly. It will be uh, keeping the consistency in the results and outcome. And as I said, communication amongst the staff, that is very important. The, the junior staff should not be afraid of director or the main persons to report any incidents happening in the lab or any mistake done because uh, human error is always there. So, so anything is possible, but they should report it so that the appropriate action, appropriate precaution can be taken. Maintaining logbook, witnessing work done helps in avoiding mistakes in the lab. That is why now in this today's uh, ART Act, uh, uh, 
the new law they have made it mandatory that whenever a person working in the lab it has to be witnessed by the other person so minimum two people should always be there in the lab working 